Hello, my name is Erik Bruit. I'm a methodologist at Delft University of Technology. This week is about modeling techniques. In this web lecture, we will look at one of these techniques, the system dynamics modeling and simulation method. What it is used for, how it is used, and what is specific about system dynamics. We will also briefly look at two examples. So, what is system dynamics? It's a method for modeling and simulating dynamically complex issues or systems characterized by feedback and accumulation effects. I will come back later to that. So, what is system dynamics used for? Quantitative system dynamics modeling is used to model systems and issues and to simulate their behavior over time. Models can then be used to experiment in a virtual laboratory. And as such, system dynamics models are also extremely useful for model-based policy analysis and for adaptive policy design. The same can be used to identify the root causes of problems, identify adaptive policies to solve problems at the root, and to test the effectiveness of policies across a very wide range of assumptions. So, what are the application domains? Well, system dynamics is used for many complex social, technical and policy problems. For example, in health policy, based on a system dynamic study by KITRISC, the WHO was convinced that polio should be eradicated worldwide and the Gates Foundation decided to co-fund the eradication effort. System dynamics models have influenced and driven energy policies and infrastructures in the US and elsewhere since the 1970s. And the same is true for resource dynamics and management from the moment the first limits to growth study commissioned by the Club of Rome was published in 1972. In line with the follow-ups of the limits to growth and the growing concern that pollution, more than finite resources, poses severe limits to growth, the system dynamics field also shifted more and more towards environmental policy making. For instance, the, the flight simulators and serious games developed by Climate Interactive help climate change policymakers understand the impact of climate change policies. System dynamics has also been used since Jay Forster's urban dynamics study for studying urban dynamics and policies. Recently, a system dynamics model of the relationships among many core city systems was developed for the Smarter City project of the city of Portland, Oregon, to better understand urban dynamics and to identify opportunities to become a smarter city. System dynamics is also used for education and innovation. For example, a system dynamics model of the Business Higher Education Forum has recently been used to study how President Obama's goal of one million science, technology, engineering and mathematics gra graduates could actually be met. System dynamics is also used for strategic planning and all sorts of business dynamics problems. Think about books like business dynamics or strategic management. System dynamics models are also used for integrated risk capability assessment and critical infrastructure protection. And finally, system dynamics models are used for many socio-economic and public policy issues, such as societal aging. So, how are system dynamics models made and used? In other words, what does the system dynamics process look like? As you can see from this picture, the system, dyna the system dynamics process is very iterative and interactive. Problem owners and stakeholders are involved in many, if not all, stages of the process. In fact, it all starts from the mental models of problem owners and stakeholders. And from this starting point, system dynamicists first distill conceptual models. These conceptual models are then turned into fully specified formal models, which are simulated, tested, used. Often the purpose is to design adaptive policies and to test their robustness using these models. But in many cases, the aim is also to generate new insights and improved understanding of the problem.